September 2025, an AI fighter jet just defeated five human pilots in a row. No hesitation, no fatigue, no mercy. It didn't break a sweat. The aircraft wasn't flown by a person. It was the X-62A Vista, a machine learning brain built by DARPA. This marks the end of human dominance in the skies. Here's what just changed warfare forever. The moment everything changed. For decades, dogfighting was the ultimate test of human reflexes and nerve, a contest measured in milliseconds and blood pressure. At 9 Gs, your vision fades, your muscles fail, and only instinct keeps you alive. It was the last arena where humans ruled by sheer skill alone. That ended in 2025 when everything changed. Under a DARPA initiative called the Artificial Intelligence Reinforcements Program, known as AIR, those rules were rewritten completely. AIR was born from an earlier experiment called Air Combat Evolution, a radical attempt to teach a neural network to outfly America's best pilots. The mission was deceptively simple. Build an AI pilot that humans could trust in real aerial combat. The testbed was an aging F-16 D Block 30, rechristened the X-62A Vista, a variable stability in-flight simulator test aircraft that could mimic the handling of almost any jet. For over 30 years, Vista had served as a flying laboratory at Edwards Air Force Base, training test pilots to handle unstable prototypes. By 2021, DARPA and the U.S. Air Force had transformed it again, refitting systems so a machine learning agent could seize the controls mid-flight. By early 2023, the AI had logged 17 hours of autonomous flight, performing precision turns, rolls, and weapon system simulations without violating a single safety rule. Then came the leap everyone feared, the first live dogfight between a human and a machine. In September 2023, the X-62A squared off against a human-flown F-16 in a series of within-visual-range engagements. It wasn't virtual. It was two real jets sharing the same sky, each trying to outmaneuver the other at hundreds of miles per hour. DARPA called it a milestone in trust. The pilots who faced it called it something else, unnerving. Over the next two years, that experiment evolved into something far more consequential when Phase 2 of the AIR program was quietly awarded. Phase 2 pushed autonomy to new extremes through an $11.3 million contract modification to systems and technology research. Their task was to develop algorithms, giving the AI the instincts of a combat veteran. Other contractors like Lockheed Martin and BAE Systems contributed to modeling, sensor fusion, and electronic warfare integration, turning the lessons of ACE into operational doctrine. By mid-2025, those systems were ready. The Phase 2 trials began, and the X-62A stepped into the arena again with five engagements and five victories. No human opponent scored a single kill. In every match, the AI anticipated, adapted, and attacked before its human rivals could process what they saw. Where a human brain takes two-tenths of a second to react, the AI's decision loop operated in microseconds, chaining thousands of calculations before the pilot could blink. At 9 Gs, where blood leaves the brain and consciousness flickers, the machine never faltered. Its neural controller managed throttle, yaw, and vectoring with perfect precision, tracing flight paths no human body could endure. The AI felt no fear, no fatigue, no confusion. While human aviators fought to stay conscious, the X-62A simply computed a better solution and executed it perfectly. Every roll, every burst of thrust, every missile cue was a product of pure probability optimization. Behind the scenes, DARPA's data scientists watched an intelligence evolve, learning from each fight and rewriting its own code between sorties. The agency's ambition was never just faster reflexes. It wanted to prove that autonomous reasoning could survive in the fog of war, and it did. All of this was underwritten by a broader modernization push through the U.S. Air Force's $70 million AI and cyber analysis contract awarded to HII Mission Technologies, funding everything from modeling and simulation to cloud-based learning architectures. Inside the AI Mind To understand how this works, forget the idea of an autopilot because these systems aren't just following instructions, they're learning adapting, and anticipating in real time. During every engagement, the AI behind the X-62A absorbed terabytes of flight data, 
predicting enemy motion before it happened. Humans make combat decisions in tenths of a second, while the AI did it in millions. Every micro-adjustment of throttle and control surface deflection was calculated faster than a neuron could fire. Its neural network didn't just memorize moves, it modeled probability. Every evasive roll or missile dodge was a choice made after simulating thousands of potential outcomes in real time. According to DARPA's engineers, the AIR program's algorithms are designed to read chaos like a language and respond with precision. In one test, the AI initiated a high-G brake turn at an angle that would have blacked out any human pilot. Yet the X-62A kept fighting, analyzing radar feeds and sensor inputs as though nothing had happened. Every mission makes it smarter. DARPA's own data shows that after each engagement, the AI adjusts its neural parameters improving prediction accuracy and tactical efficiency. It learns not just from success, but from every millisecond of failure. To the human eye, it looks superhuman, but to the AI, it's simply data convergence. By this point, the aircraft had become more than a test bed. It was a prototype for autonomy and real warfare. DARPA calls this evolution from human in the loop to human on the loop, where humans still oversee the system, but no longer control it directly. As one DARPA pilot put it, the AI doesn't need to ask permission. It only needs to be understood. That's the new paradigm of warfare. Understanding machines you can no longer outthink. While human pilots black out, AI keeps fighting without hesitation or error. The Swarm Revolution. If a single AI fighter jet is unsettling, imagine 20 of them flying as one mind, communicating in silence, and reacting faster than any human formation ever could. That's not hypothetical anymore. It's phase 2.5 of DARPA's plan, what insiders call the swarm threshold. Multi-ship autonomous coordination. The AIR program didn't end when the X-62A proved an AI could win a duel. That was merely the beginning. DARPA's engineers are now teaching those same neural pilots to cooperate, strategize, and maneuver collectively without a single word of radio chatter or human flight lead calling shots. It's an entirely new way of fighting, a machine phalanx linked by algorithms rather than voice commands. Each aircraft becomes both hunter and hive node, feeding a shared brain in the cloud or on encrypted tactical networks built to survive jamming in cyber attack. In this emerging vision of air combat, the human role changes completely. Instead of one pilot flying one jet, a single human commander could direct an entire formation of autonomous fighters, 20, maybe 30, operating beyond visual range and sometimes beyond communication range. The AIR framework calls it distributed tactical execution. When the connection drops, each jet continues the mission based on pre-learned coordination logic. These aircraft trade radar locks, sensor fusion data, and targeting decisions in microseconds. They adjust spacing and altitude dynamically, overlapping radar coverage, and maximizing kill probability, not because someone told them to, but because the network's internal optimization routines demand it. To outside observers, they move less like aircraft and more like a digital organism evolving in real time. While DARPA's government prototypes prove the concept, Andril Industries is already building the real-world implementation through their creation called Fury, a next-generation unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Fury is what happens when Silicon Valley speed meets Pentagon funding. It has no cockpit, no ejection seat, no life support hardware, nothing that limits performance to human physiology. Its AI flight core ingests data from radar, infrared sensors, and optical trackers, integrating them through onboard neural networks that analyze threats and reroute flight paths faster than any human mind could. The result is an aircraft that can patrol, strike, or defend in total autonomy. It flies with stealth geometry built from radar-absorbing composites and an airframe optimized for both endurance and agility. It can reach supersonic speeds, execute evasive turns that would black out a pilot, and stay airborne for hours without refueling. In practice, Fury isn't meant to replace manned fighters, at least not yet. It's designed to be the autonomous wingman. Picture an F-35 or F-22 leading a squadron of AI-controlled Furies, each assigned a specialized role, one for electronic warfare, another for reconnaissance, several for direct engagement. Andrel's engineers describe it like a digital orchestra, the human pilot as conductor, 
the AI jets as instruments improvising in perfect synchronization. Using mesh communication and machine learning coordination, one pilot could command dozens of these aircraft simultaneously. This is what DARPA means by autonomous tactical execution under uncertain, dynamic, complex environments. A system built not on orders, but on consensus achieved in thousands of seconds. The technology's architecture mirrors patterns seen in nature. Flocks of birds, schools of fish, swarms of insects. Each unit follows a simple rule, maintain formation, avoid collision, pursue objective. Yet the emergent behavior is strategic intelligence. Even electronic warfare can't fully disrupt them. Drawing from lessons in Ukraine's drone conflicts, Anduril's AI systems are being hardened to operate without GPS or external comms. They can switch to optical navigation, terrain mapping, and inertial guidance. Meaning even when satellites are jammed, the swarm keeps flying. In other words, these aren't drones waiting for remote pilots. They are combatants that think locally and act collectively. This paradigm has staggering implications for global warfare. Traditional air superiority depends on training, endurance, and coordination. A squadron of human pilots can manage maybe four to six aircraft before situational awareness collapses. A machine swarm has no such ceiling. One command node could coordinate hundreds. Unlike human pilots, these aircraft don't tire. They don't need rest, morale, or evacuation. They can launch, fight, and relaunch until fuel or code runs out. The cost per mission plummets, and the tempo of war accelerates beyond human comprehension. Critics warn that such systems blur the line between control and chaos. Once autonomy reaches this level, oversight becomes theoretical. If communications break and a swarm continues on its last known parameters, who bears responsibility? DARPA's engineers insist there will always be a human in the loop accountable for lethal decisions. Yet as autonomous reasoning improves, that loop grows wider and slower. When combat decisions occur in microseconds, even accountability has latency. The quiet truth behind the swarm revolution is it's not being built for heroism or valor, but for inevitability. A human pilot story ends with one life. A swarm story begins with code that never dies only evolves. Combat performance that shocked experts. In the September 2025 Phase 2 tests, the X-62A achieved something no pilot had ever done before, sustained supersonic combat within 2,000 feet of a human-flown jet without human control. Even veteran pilots admitted they couldn't keep up. Its reaction time wasn't just faster, it was inhumanly efficient. When radar locked on, the AI didn't hesitate. It didn't second guess or weigh moral implications. It acted immediately. Each decision is optimized for survival probability, not valor or instinct. While the pilot on the other end fought against blackout and disorientation, the X-62A remained coldly analytical, its digital neurons firing at millions of calculations per second. The results stunned even DARPA's test observers. The AI executed maneuvers at 9G and higher, maintaining offensive pressure throughout each engagement. But perhaps more impressive was its ability to integrate electronic warfare data in real time. It used radar reflections, sensor fusion, and enemy emissions to adjust tactics mid-turn. That level of processing would normally require an entire ground-based analysis team. The AI did it alone inside a split second. When the simulation ended, the human pilots climbed out drenched in sweat. The AI's log simply noted, target was neutralized awaiting my next engagement. The Pentagon's $70 million investment in AI modernization suddenly looked like a down payment on an entirely new era of combat. Even Andril's leadership acknowledges that technology is outpacing doctrine. The company has stated publicly that autonomous warfare is inevitable, not because it's easier, but because the alternative is obsolescence. The lessons from Ukraine's drone jam skies have made one thing clear. To survive in modern conflict, your systems must fight even when cut off from command. The next generation of AI jets won't just take orders. They'll make decisions when communications go dark. They'll navigate by landmarks, use optical recognition instead of GPS, and coordinate by inference, not instruction. That's not autonomy, it's agency. Once machines start acting with agency and warfare, the moral horizon shifts forever. For over a century, air combat was defined by the ace pilot myth. 
humans locked in duels of instinct and reflex. In 2025, that legend began to fade. The age of Top Gun bravado is ending. The new warriors won't salute or celebrate. They'll update their firmware and launch again. Global air power is about to be rewritten by programmers. Subscribe for more deep dives into the future of warfare.